Hey guys, welcome to this quick KSP tutorial. As you can probably tell by the title, this is all about the nav ball. I see many people struggling with it, although it's rather simple. I think the main reason for this is they picture it as a sphere in front of them, as it physically is. However, what a nav ball stands for is something different. Before I go into further detail, let me first make sure you understand what the indicators on it are meaning. The most prominent one is your plane or ship itself. It looks like a little bird. This is where your craft is pointing its nose at. It will never change its position on the screen. Probably the most important one is this yellow or green indicator. It marks the direction where your craft is actually flying to. However, you have to be careful. This is a relative value, which means it only shows the direction relative or in reference to something else. In this case here it is curve and surface. You can switch between surface, orbit and target by clicking it over the nav ball. Make always sure your reference is set correctly or you might end up failing over and over not understanding why. I'll keep it relative to the surface and as you can see my speed is approximately 200 meters per second in the direction I am also heading. Terrific! Changing my orientation you can see the marker follows my nose with a slight delay. This is because it takes a little time to adjust the course for the wings. To add some confusion, we not only have a forward pointing marker, but also one in the back. This is basically the opposite direction in which we are traveling. If your nose points there within the atmosphere, you will probably have a big problem. Forward pointing, by the way, is also called prograde and backwards pointing retrograde. Just in case you didn't know. But that's not all. We play in a three-dimensional world, so there is not only forward and backward, but also up and down, which is indicated by these blue markers, blue like the sky. And there are left and right of course, which is shown in purple. These do however only appear in orbit mode, and I will tell you more about it in just a minute. Now back to the nav ball. In order to understand it, you have to free yourself from that sphere in front of you, and think inside the sphere. Yes. You are inside the nav ball and you can only see it through a tiny window in your dashboard. If you see it like this, it becomes much clearer what it actually is. It's nothing but a compass. Blue is the sky and brown is the ground. This means the horizon is the line where both are touching. The red line at 0 degrees is north. And since a full circle has 360 degrees, you will find east at 90, south at 180 and west at 270 degrees. Since it is a sphere, it also counts with degrees for measuring up and down of course. That's basically all there is to it. Just think inside the sphere. Now a little additional information. In space we no longer speak of left, right, up and down. Instead, more scientific terms are used like normal and radial. A normal direction or normal vector in math points away from a plane like so. The plane we are talking about is our orbital plane. If we are here, our normal vectors point in these directions. Up and down becomes the radial vector, because it points along the radius of our orbital circle. Ok, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. This is just something I wanted to share and please feel free to ask any question about it. That's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.